In this video, we'll introduce very basic concepts in classical conditioning by simulating Pavlov's experiments with dogs. Now you may be wondering, if I'm going to be dealing with human beings, why am I looking at a dog? The answer is that the same principles of behaviorism that apply to higher order animals also apply to us humans. So when it comes to classical conditioning, we aren't that much different from Rover here. We're presenting Rover with a stimulus here, a bell. When we ring the bell, there's no response in Rover. That's because dogs, just like human beings, are not naturally wired to have a response to a bell. Without conditioning, there is no response. Therefore, we call the bell a neutral stimulus. I can ring the bell repeatedly with no response from Rover. Next, we'll introduce Rover to a new stimulus, the sight of food and water. Rover's natural response to the sight of food and water is to salivate. He wasn't conditioned to have this reaction. It's natural, innate, or inborn, and automatic, not taught, not conditioned. So this stimulus is called an unconditioned stimulus, and Rover's response is called an unconditioned response. Next, we'll simulate Pavlov's experiment. We'll ring the bell, and then present Rover with food and water. Rover salivates, not because of the bell, which is a neutral stimulus, but because of the food, the unconditioned stimulus. Now we're going to repeat this process. If we repeatedly ring the bell before presenting Rover with food, he'll be conditioned to respond to the bell. Now Rover will salivate upon hearing the bell even in the absence of food. This response has been conditioned. It's now a conditioned response and the bell has become a conditioned stimulus. So, to recap, the bell started out as a neutral stimulus. The food was an unconditioned stimulus. When Rover salivated upon seeing the food, it was an unconditioned response. When we repeatedly paired the sound of the bell with the sight of food, Rover was finally conditioned to salivate upon hearing the bell. The bell has now become a conditioned stimulus for Rover and salivating to the sound of the bell is a conditioned response in Rover. Behavioral theory tells us that our behaviors have been shaped or conditioned by past experiences in much the same way that Rover has been conditioned to salivate upon hearing that bell and therefore behavior modification is possible through conditioning. 